What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So today we're going to get back to a little bit of the online arbitrage sourcing. I'm going to take you through Vipon. As you can see all the tabs on the screen, I've gone ahead and uh, you know, I didn't look into these too, too much. I literally just scrolled down the page to kind of knock off a little bit of the time. So we're not scrolling like usual. Uh, if you guys are looking for, you know, plenty of sourcing tutorials, they're all in my arbitrage playlist that will be linked in the description uh, under playlists. I think I'll link that and I'll also link my arbitrage expenses playlist list if you want to go through and check out some of the back end. But I figured that that would save you guys a lot of time. You wouldn't see me scrolling. So we can just go through and analyze product after product. I totally missed time that product after product after product after product. And you get the most bang for your time buck uh, in this video. So I'm excited about this. I've been putting out a lot of videos lately, but they've been more, uh, you know, kind of filmed in in my office, essentially, and kind of talking about finances and you know, how I approach different things. I definitely plan on adding more of those videos because I genuinely love creating them. And I think that they can help a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs. But I also want to get back to my roots and show you not just, you know, those videos filming, you know, FaceTime a little bit, but also, you know, the the process, you know, how the step-by-step -step process, getting into the computer, getting into the nitty gritty and showing you how I actually make the money, especially with online arbitrage. So I'm going to walk you through a Vipon tutorial here. Um, and if you guys don't know what Vipon is, basically, it's just a coupon website. Totally mis mistyped that in. Basically, it's just a coupon website. It looks a little bit like this, and you can kind of sort through deals. Uh, obviously, I have multiple accounts, which is crucial, something I talk about in my online arbitrage pro course, which only plug for that course today will be first link in the description if you guys want to grab online arbitrage pro that will basically run you through the entire process not just through vipon but literally through all the sites i use i believe there's like 30 in the course now um and you know basically how it, it will uncap your earning potential with online arbitrage so if you guys are looking for you know another source of income on the side if maybe you have a job or maybe you're looking to get into online entrepreneurship and you have a little bit of startup capital Online arbitrage is literally the best way that I know that you can get started and get a return on your money, you know, within two weeks, realistically, because Amazon pays you out in a two week period. Now, that is a return on your investment business, uh, you know, so it depends on how much you have in will be, you know, how much you get out of it, essentially. But you can start with, you know, 50 bucks. I get this question a lot. You could also start with 500. You could start with five grand. Whatever you put into it, assuming that you can find enough products, obviously, for five grand will, you know, will be essentially what you get out. So if you start with 50 bucks, maybe you turn that 50 bucks into 250, that 250 then into a grand, so on and so forth. Obviously, those numbers fluctuate depending item to item because every item is different and every margin is different. You will see that here when we jump into this let's go ahead and do it uh you know when i go to vipon i obviously go to instant deals sometimes i'll stay on the home page and i actually uh grabbed about five deals so i'm gonna run through this exactly like i were sourcing products on vipon i'm gonna obviously recording it so you guys get value out of it uh, i'm gonna show you how i analyze products and you know basically almost like you guys are watching over my shoulder and i'll give you my analysis on okay this is a good product this is why Okay, this is a bad product, this is why. Okay, this is a sketchy product, but I might take a chance on it, and this is why, although you need to pay attention to this. So I think it's a great way to do it. Um, so if I were doing this, what I very first, the very first thing that I do is I check the homepage because every once in a while there's some decent products on the homepage. Now I went through and I grabbed a bunch of, like this is a half decent product right here. It's not ideal because you have to spend six bucks to maybe make 16 potentially, hence the $16 profit margin there. It sells for $19.99 on Amazon usually. You get it for six bucks. 16, uh, or is that 13? I can't do math. Uh, 14 actually, sorry, because it's 20 bucks. Wow, just shows you don't have to be brilliant to actually make money doing this. Uh, so that's a $14 profit margin. You know, that's not ideal. Usually I like to spend between one and five bucks to get the products and then flip them for at least $10 profit margin. But I would still buy that because there are levels to this essentially. I'm not like sitting on like some mountain speaking down to you or anything like that. Um, but you know, obviously if you have investment capital to like a grand or something like that or a little bit more, by all means grab as many products as you can assuming there's a $10 margin because you have more investment capital. But for the people just starting out that might only have 100 bucks or might only have 200 bucks, you want to disperse that money to, you know, lower risk products so you're not spending, you know, you don't want to get 20 products if you can get 100 of them with a $10 profit margin. Does that make sense? So go for the shorter, um, and you'll see this here in a second, go for the cheaper products where you still have that margin assuming that they check all the boxes like we're going to talk about. So that's what I do first. I go to the homepage and, you know, I basically look through some deals because I find that sometimes there's good deals on the homepage. Next thing I'll do is come to instant deals and I'll sort it through price, low to high, and discount, high to low. 
Price low to high, pretty self-explanatory. You know, if you go to low to high, and I want to actually show you guys this, uh, you know, it starts literally the lowest price that you can possibly get with a coupon code. Uh, discount high to low is literally, it could be you're spending 100 bucks, but the discount is, you know, 500 bucks. I don't know if any of those products are on here. Sometimes they are, but that's discount low to high. So you could also be buying a $5 product with, you know, uh, that sells for 60. That's discount low to high. Uh, one thing that I do want to talk about here is with Vipon and especially with Snagshout too, you're going to see this. Um, these are probably the two worst coupon, uh, you know, sites in the course that I talk about. There are a bunch of new ones that I go over in depth just like this in the course. But with, with Vipon and Snagshot, you really got to pay attention to other drop shippers. So this looks like, because that's a, a business model that people do nowadays, they, they do coupon drop shipping on these websites like this. And that's actually a business that I teach some students to do. Um, so you'll see this looks free, but but it's paying, it's charging for $4.99 shipping. So what this person is doing is they're, they're, they're putting their products up from AliExpress onto coupon websites uh, like this, like Vipon and like Snagshot. And then, you know, it looks free and you're thinking, oh, I get free. And then once you get to the Amazon, uh, you know, the, the checkout screen, you realize you have to pay the $4.99 shipping. And most people, about 80% of people, I think the numbers were, it's been a long time since I've actually practiced that business model myself. It was a high percentage. When the high, when uh, most people get to the checkout, most people go through with the purchase when they realize that they have to pay shipping. It's obviously, you know, you lose some, there's a, a, like a, a conversion drop off there, but most people are already invested at that point. They're excited about it. They feel like they're getting a free coupon and they realize, oh, I just gotta pay free shipping. So it's a, it's a drop shipping technique. The reason I'm telling you this for the coupon arbitrage is pay attention to this. You want to go after Amazon Prime products and not the 90, the, the shipping products. That doesn't mean that you can't go after products. There are certain products that are merchant fulfilled that are not being drop shipped that are good coupon arbitrage products. Just be weary or wary or wary. I don't know what that word is. Drop a comment down below and let me know what it actually is and how to pronounce it, please, because I always mess it up. But that's basically, I just, I just want you to be cognizant of that. Be careful. Be what wary, whatever it is, of the uh, the the merchant fulfilled products that charge you for shipping. Uh, so let's jump through. Now that we're here, let's jump into some of the products. I went through and I analyzed a bunch of them. Some of them were going to be a bit, bit borderline. Like I didn't get too in depth with them. I literally just picked out what I thought were margins. Um, so we're going to go through, and I'm going to show you exactly what I think. So earphones. You'll see here, ten dollar profit margin. Sells. It says that it retails on Amazon for twelve seventy nine. It's a 256 uh, coupon code. So let's hit get coupon and we'll go analyze it on Amazon. Now, this looks like it is not prime, it, although it is free shipping. So that's a little bit sketchy right off the bat for me. The first thing I like to do before I even notice that, because most of the products are going to show prime, uh, and you'll see that little prime badge there, uh, is to make sure that the price is what they actually say it as. 98% Mo of the products are obviously going to be the price that they're listed at on Vipon or Snagshot or any of the coupon sites. But sometimes you get a you know an untruthful seller. Just just that's the first thing that you always want to check. So new twelve seventy nine. It's what they said it was going to be twelve seventy nine. It's a good sign. Although it is not prime, so that's a little bit sketchy. And I always forget to sign into Jungle Scout. So now that I'm finally signed into Jungle Scout, we're going to analyze this product. So the very first thing that you want to do if you don't have Jungle Scout, which I recommend that you do for online arbitrage, is go down and check the uh, the the. Um, best seller rank. So you want to make sure that I, my general rule of thumb, if you don't have the, the jungle Scout Chrome extension, uh, which helps really analyze the sales velocity of products and shows you the exact numbers that they're selling every day and every month is I like to look at the best seller rank. So my general rule of thumb is under a hundred thousand best seller rank. If you get the jungle Scout Chrome extension, you will notice that there are products over a hundred thousand, sometimes depending on the category that sell more than one a day, thus making it a decent product to go after. You will also notice that there are products in certain categories that are slightly below 100,000 uh, and don't sell at least one a day. I say around 100,000 because that's that gray area line for most product categories. This is cell phone and accessories. There's different uh, amount of products. There's different you know uh, sales velocities in each category. So that's just the general rule of thumb. Obviously, if you want to be sure and you want to you know be serious with the online arbitrage, Get the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. It's a $99 one-time purchase payment, and you have that for life. Now, I do have an affiliate link. I will drop that in the description right under the Online Arbitrage Pro course, but you don't need it. I just I recommend it. Even if you don't go through the affiliate link, just get it yourself. It's really going to save you a lot of time, and it will pay for your, itself time and time again over and over again. So 82000 it's close to that 100000 mark, but it's under. That's a good sign. Let's check the sales velocity with Jungle Scout. 
30 monthly sales averages about one a day, right? So that's pretty decent. That's not a bad product. Now, the next thing that we want to do, we want to take the ASIN to make sure that we can sell it. So we're going to take it into Seller Central, Inventory, Add a Product. Then we're going to paste it in and see if, see if we're able to sell it. Listing limitation supply. You always click that down now. It used to be that it just showed you, but for whatever reason, Amazon always likes to have it this way now. Just make sure you click the down arrow so you can actually see. Uh, and it says that we can sell it in new used conditions. Sell yours. So this is a good product. I would go out and get it. However, if I remember correctly, it does not have any reviews, which is another thing that I go through in the checklist for the online arbitrage pro course. So for, so for those of you out there cherry picking that don't want to buy the course, you know, totally fine, whatever, it's your prerogative. Um, but there are certain things that you got to pay attention to like this. You don't want to source bad products and reviews are definitely one of them. So it depends on that. Like we talked about, there's levels to it. It depends on what you're, you're going after. If you only have 50 bucks to invest and this is your first shipment into products, or if you only have a hundred or 200 bucks, maybe you don't go out and get this product because it's a little bit more risky just because there's no reviews. And that indicates that the seller is not 100% invested in the listing yet. They're trying to rank the listing, obviously, hence the fact that it's on a coupon site like Vipon, but because there's no reviews, it makes it a little bit more risky in my experience. I would personally still grab this because at the end of the day, if for whatever reason I learn, I, or I learn, I learn, I lose the $2.56, it's not the end of the world to me. I don't really care. Um, but you know, that's with me sending in like a hundred products every couple of days or something like that. So if I, if, you know, I source a hundred products and, you know, I took a chance on 10 of them and five of those don't work out, but 95 of my products do, I'm still going to make a lot of money. Uh, so that's a good, you know, that's, that's how I gauge it. But if you're only buying like 10 or 20 products, maybe go after more surefire products that check all the boxes off. So that's a good product. Uh, we, I'd go through and I'd grab this. Now let's move on to the next one. 1275 uh 255 so you're, it checks that ten dollar profit margin 1275 minus 255 is the purchase price now for the sticklers out there yes that doesn't include the the amazon fees but on a ten dollar profit margin if you sell it for you know if you get it into to fba and you sell it for like 11 bucks or, or 1175 to get the buy box really fast or whatever you want to do you can also sell it a little bit uh higher and wait a little bit uh your your fees might be anywhere from like three to five bucks, so you're still making that a, a good money on it. You're you're making you're spending two fifty five to make like six seven bucks, maybe eight bucks, depending on what it is. So that that doesn't really matter. That's why I always say keep it above ten dollar profit margin, so that, so you don't worry about the fees. You know that you're going to make money. Also, the st the shipping is completely irrelevant. Shipping doesn't matter. I've done countless examples of why shipping doesn't matter because if you ship in a bunch of products at once in the right box, and I've done two videos on this recently that I'll link in the description that are really gonna help you guys out with this. The first one is why shipping doesn't matter. Card up in the right-hand corner right now if you wanna check it out. Also linked in the description. And that basically goes into, you know, why, why the shipping doesn't matter when you're sending a bunch, like I said, in because it, your cost of shipping per product is super cheap and it's basically negated. The second video that I wanna talk about is an update, I actually dropped that for, you know, I kept getting questions on this, so I put it on my other channel for a couple of potential students that were interested in the course, um, and it's basically the people that were cherry picking, and, uh, you know, you might even be watching right now, but you were sending in like 50 products at once, and you can't really do that. You kind of want to send in like 10 to 30, and I explain why those numbers are about, you know, 10 to 30 with that sweet spot in that video. So that card will be up in the right-hand corner right now. That will also be linked in the description under the two playlists that I'm talking about and the previous video that I referenced. So with that being said, uh, let's figure out if this product is a good one. All right, so it, we're buying it for, remember, 255. Does it retail at two at 1275? It's another sketchy product because it doesn't have any reviews and it's also not being, uh, you know, it's not FBA, it's being merchant fulfilled. But if you bought it and you shipped it into FBA, you would be able to get the buy box at a higher rate because you have FBA. Two things that go into getting the buy box that are important that we're going to talk about here are first and foremost, uh, price to the customer. And second, but not, but a close, close second is availability to the customer. So that's why people that ship merchant fulfilled, you know, don't always, depending on their shipping times and what their, their seller metrics are, which is another thing, but that's lower on the list. If basically what I'm trying to say is if you, if you have FBA or you're shipping in prime and you're, you're competing on price, those are the two main factors, availability to the customer and the price to the customer, bottom line. So you could definitely ship this into FBA and get it probably at a little bit higher of a price on the buy box. 
So this is a, a product I'd avoid. It's 200,000 uh, in health and household. So that is a bad product. Let's move on. All right, this posture corrector, 1269. You're buying it for 1254. $10 profit margin. Let's check it out. This one it has a new, I never understood this. As much as I was good at like, I did private labeling for a while and was trying to rank new products. I still do it, but I, I don't do it as much. I have four products that are actually profitable. Um, they don't make that much to be honest. One of them makes like a grand a month roughly and the rest of them break even. But when I was ranking products, I, it always blew my mind how people got the, the badges like right away like that. That's some BS and a little bit sketchy. But, you know, hats off to, to them. That means that they're selling, uh, you know, at least. So that they probably have a good ranking. They're also merchant fulfilling, which is a little bit sketchy. And no reviews, but they do have a number one release badge. So, you know, maybe we can look past that. If you were starting fresh, uh, you probably wouldn't want to get this either. 21000 in sports and outdoors. So it's obviously good. We checked the Chrome extension. 150 monthly sales on average. So that's pretty solid. Let's make sure that we can sell it. And we can sell it. So that's a great product. Now, another thing I want to talk about and a question that I get a lot is, can you buy multiples of a product? Now, you can buy multiples of a product. So what I mean by that is, can you use the same coupon code and you know buy 10 of this product in, in, um, in the, uh, the checkout screen? Yes and no. So most of the time, the sellers will not let you do that. There will be a limit to the amount of, of products quantity that you can claim with a certain code. So most sellers will not let you do that. However, you'll notice the occasional seller that does not do that. And thus you can go ahead and grab all their inventory, or maybe they'll limit you to like 10 or 15. I don't recommend doing that. First of all, I feel like it's bad karma. I don't, I don't, I think that's kind of sleazy. I wouldn't take advantage of somebody's coupon code like that and steal all their inventory. It's not a very nice thing to do. Um, now if, if they have 900 in inventory, should you take 10 or 20 of them? That's a different question. Then, you know, obviously you're, you're helping their sales velocity because they literally just sold 20 in a day, which will help them rank better. And then you're going to flip it again, which will help them rank more, thus making, uh, you know, them money. Essentially, they're just breaking even on the product. So it's not a loss to them. I wouldn't get too carried away with that. I still think, you know, you stay, you still want to stay uh, for one for most of them. But here and there, if you find a good product that's selling 150 a month like this and you can grab 10 of them. You know, if you're going to do that, that I've done it in the past, go ahead and go that route. Uh, but majority of products, I grab quantities of one. You can grab multiples. Just be cognizant of not screwing anybody over, uh, and just be cognizant of you know being uh, you know being a little bit careful. If it says you know thirty a month, you know that's one a day on average. You don't want to grab ten of that product or five of that product because it's going to take you a couple days, if not a week, to maybe push that product. Because you got to remember, you're not, you don't have any ranking. You're just piggybacking off their listing. So just something to keep in mind there. Um, but I would go ahead and buy this product. It looks solid to me. Now, if you, like I said, if you're starting out, it doesn't have any reviews, so it's a little sketchy. But I would definitely go out and buy this product. That's a good product for ten dollar profit margin. Now, one more. Let's go really fast. So twelve fifty. You're getting it at two fifty. Exactly ten dollar profit margin. Let's check it out. More merchant fulfilled. Woohoo! Excited about that with no reviews. That's sketchy. Now these are all things that I'd probably you know buy because I'd I'd be going ahead on all the coupon sites and I probably would have already ordered twenty to thirty products a day. Uh, so I might take some chances on some of these, knowing that you know even if I make, let's say I sell three of them and make thirty bucks, and you know two of them out of the five that I might have purchased, you know don't work out. Well, I'm still making twenty five bucks if I spent two fifty on each product. Makes sense. So. It's a risk reward thing. Um, you got to use your judgment and, and figure out where on the spectrum uh, and level you actually are. Can you afford to take the risk? If not, don't do it. It's, it's totally fine. But this is why I think it's valuable for me to go through and analyze these things for you and show you. Uh, so this is a bad product, 436,000 uh, in home and kitchen. So let's move on. Next product. All right, 12. So this is another one that I want to talk about. And there's a bunch of them here. Um, that I want to talk about that are probably half decent products. Uh, and you'll see here that that I'm just going to go through a couple of them with you really fast. So 1145, you buy it for 229. 1145, it retails out, you buy it for 229. 1149, you buy it for 230. Now I'm not going to go through all these really fast, so I, I might keep a couple of them up, a couple of them up just to show you. Same thing here. What I'm trying to point out is that these margins are not exactly $10. Sometimes people go through the course or, you know, they watch some of the videos and they go, oh, that's not a $10 profit margin, even though it's $9.99 or $9.89. That's a, that's a general rule of thumb. Uh, you know, obviously you don't want all your products to be $9.50 or $9.89, 
but that's still pretty close to the margin. If you look at this here, what is that, 980 profit margin? That's still pretty close to 10. You can go ahead and grab this if it checks out and checks all the boxes. So $10 is the is the rough estimate. You don't wanna get a little you know, too flexible. You're not going down to like eight necessarily unless you want to, but you can go ahead and grab products like this. I just say keep it around a $10 profit margin at least for the most part. Now let's jump into these and check a couple of these. Same thing here, it's probably a pretty good product, although it's a little sketchy. I don't wanna go through too many of these examples. So this is a bad product, it's 175,000 in kitchen and dining. Let's go through them fast, I'll try to, I'll try to get through them fast because there's a bunch of good ones right here I wanna talk about. 240, you're buying it for 11.99. It's, it, we're not gonna check it because it has no reviews. Just for the sake of saving time, I wanna show you some good examples. And I'm not trying to make this like a, a 40 minute video. Uh, 11.49, free shipping. Uh, you know, it, it's obviously, it's not FBA, it's being merchant filled, no reviews. It might be a good product, I might go ahead and grab it, but I wanna show you some good examples. So now let's get into some of the good examples. Like I said, I might go through and buy some of those, but these are gonna be hopefully good examples. Uh, you know, they're a little bit higher priced, some of them, uh, but they all have margins and I think that they're good products. So for the people telling me you can't find good products on Vipon, there might've been three or four that I would buy in there, that, although they're risky. There might be two or three, maybe four here that I would buy that are probably a little bit less risky and have a margin there. Uh, so that's about eight products that I found. And you know, obviously I'm slowing this down to analyze them, but I could go through and buy these in like five to 10 minutes and pick some good products. So Vipon is still very much alive for the people that say that it's dead and they can't find products. Uh, you know, I, I just don't think you're searching enough or the right ways. And that's just my honest opinion. Because I find products on Vipon, I still find products on Snagshot, I do it every single day. Now, hence, I, I love the other ones better. These are probably the two worst ones, Snagshot and Vipon. But there's still great products on there to, to flip and make money, so you can totally do it. $17.99 for $180. Let's check it out. So this is Amazon Prime. Uh, it's not selling for 17 bucks, which is a little sketchy to me. Um, so this is a great example of something I wanna use here, which is the Camelizer, and I'll show you that in a second. It doesn't have any reviews, which is also a little sketchy. <sighs> Let's go through and check the ranking. So 7,500 7, in cell phone accessories, it's obviously selling well. 588 month, uh, sales a month on average. Let's check to see if we can sell it. And we cannot sell it in new condition, but we can sell it in used. So uh, if this were an actual $17 product, then I might buy it and sell it as used, used like new and just put a little stipulation in, set in there that says this is brand new, I've never opened it or something like that. Uh, it won't sell nearly as fast because you don't have the buy box with any used items, but it will sell eventually and you'll make money. So that's an option. So we're not gonna analyze this just because that's a very special uh, example. Now with that, with the this thing that I was gonna tell you with the... Um, the $12 profit margin, uh, or, the, or sorry, it was listed at 12, even though originally it was listed at 17. If you use this app called Camel, 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 which is basically the Camelizer, and you can also go to Camel, 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 if you don't want to download it, .com, and just throw a, weird, that's weird, never seen that before. I guess it's offline due to, uh, until Wednesday, the, the uh, until tomorrow. But you can use the Camelizer app 99% of the time, just like the Jungle Scout extension, um, and basically, or, or the Camelizer extension, sorry. And basically that will just show you the, the history of the sales. So you'll notice that if it says $17, you know, for the majority of the history, but then it drops down to 12, you know, this week, that's sketchy and you wanna be aware of that. Uh, also, if, you know, you'll notice if, if the price constantly fluctuates, you also wanna be cognizant of that. Or if it's, you know, typically always sold at $12.99 and they just listed it at $17.99 on Vipon. Also be cognizant of that. So very handy tool. Camelizer, something also I talk about in my course, can help you out just like Jungle Scout. And this is actually a free extension if you wanna go ahead and download it. Let's move on. This one was 1969 at retails for. You're buying it for 590 with a coupon code. Okay, so this looks like a pretty solid product actually. It's got five customer reviews. Uh, it sells for 1969, although it looks like they only have one left in stock, which means one of two things. Either they're planning on, on reordering and they just haven't uh, yet because this is their first order, which is probably pretty likely, or you know it might be a little sketchy because they don't have more in stock. Um, but you can also check to see, one of the things I like to do with this is you know check other sizes or other variations. So if you go after the medium, well then they have 13 left in stock. So you know that they are still attached to the listing. Let's check out the large. 
The large is in stock. They're not even below 20 yet. So that's still a pretty solid product. Let's go through and, and see if there's, okay, so they're only selling the small size uh, with the coupon code. So that's something we got to keep in, uh, keep in mind. But because there are other things that they're 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 selling on this listing, it's still a great it's still a great buy. Even if they don't reorder any more smalls, still a great buy. So obviously it's forty one thousand in pet supplies, so it's a good product. Can we sell it? We can sell it. So new and used conditions, sell yours. Boom, that's a great product. It's got five customer reviews. Go ahead and grab the one that they have now. You're getting it five ninety. You're gonna flip it for you know maybe eighteen fifty. You know a little bit under the buy box. If you're willing to wait a little bit longer, you can probably flip it for like nineteen fifty. But I like to usually just drop it down and make the sale fast because I don't just want them to get paid. I want to get paid fast, right? That's the whole concept here. You want to make the money quickly. So uh, you know what is that? A let's just take that down. Let's assume it's a little bit under. It's like a little bit over eighteen. That's so it's a it's like thirteen buck profit margin here. Pretty solid buy in my opinion. Let's move on. We got four more here. Uh, I want to run through them really fast with you guys to show you that there are products to buy that are good on Vipon. Uh, and obviously, you know, you can go out and go ahead and do this. So $19.99, eight customer reviews, it's prime, all great things checking out. It does sell, sell for $19.99 and it does sell for $19.99. So let's go through and check it out. What's the sales rank? Okay, the sales rank is 160 uh, in clothing, shoes, and jewelry. So that's obviously, you know, not under 100,000. Let's check this, the extension. So this is an example of something that you'll see here. Because clothing, shoes, and jewelry, there's a lot of, of listings in clothing, shoes, and jewelry. So 160 is obviously above this. This is the reason, hence, to get the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Because most people that don't have it are not going to go ahead and grab this with the stipulations that I talk about. Because it's 160. But if you check the extension, it shows you that it's selling on average about 60 a month currently. So let's check to see if we can buy it with the ASIN into Seller Central. New condition. You can sell it. So that's a great product as well. I would buy that too. And that's, what is that, like the fifth product that I might buy here? Maybe the sixth or seventh, depending. This one's a little bit uh, closer to the margin. Um, and I, you know, the only reason I was going to show you this is this is something I might go after uh, and grab myself. Uh, but, you know, for the sake of not wasting any more of your time and, and, you know, just letting you know that this is probably something I would buy if I'm going ahead and buying like 20 items or 10 items on Vipon. I would just go ahead and buy this because if I flip it back up there, you know, I might net like four or five bucks after Amazon fees because the margin's only like 10 bucks or like nine bucks here. So I'd still go ahead and grab this. Um, but, you know, you don't have to. Now, these two are a little bit more risky, um, and you do want to be aware, aware of these higher-priced items. You want to, you know, take them through the, the checklist a little bit more, you know, vigorously. Uh, just so you, you don't want to drop 49 bucks and realize that, you know, it, it's not a good product. So $49, let's go ahead and check this one out. It says that it retails at 99 but the great thing about this is, yes, it's high risk, but it's also high reward. You can make it and flip it for 50 bucks just like that. So let's check it out. $99, it's got 29 reviews, and it's Amazon Prime. It's a humidifier, so that is a great sign. Let's check the, the ASIN and the sales rank. So 9,000 in kitchen and dining, which is probably selling a lot. So 124 monthly sales, and let's be sure that we can sell it. And we can sell it. New, collectible, and used conditions. So that's a $50 profit margin right there. Now, if you can sell more than one of them, or you can buy more than one of them, maybe you go ahead and buy three or five of these. You don't want to get too carried away. Um, but if I bought five of these, you know, that would be 50. What is that? 250 that I'm spending to potentially make another 250 just like that. So I'd make that 250 in a week just from buying this one product, if obviously I could buy, you know, a couple of them. So that's a great product, and I want to show you guys these because, like I said, it goes back to that level stuff. If you're just starting out, this isn't a product you're going to go after because it's a little bit more high risk with your 49 bucks. But if you've been making money with the online arbitrage and you're a little bit further along, you know, and it's like your second month or, you know, a little bit, it's like your second payment even, and you have a little bit more excess capital, take some more risks on high risk, high reward products like this because that's a $50 margin right there. You don't have to sell five products to get that. You just sell one of them. Uh, so mix and match. Take some risks on some items. Take some, you know, some higher priced items like this with high rewards. And also about 80 to 90% of your, your normal buys should be the low priced $10 profit margin to just get that steady return on your investment. That's a great product. I would 100% buy that. One more, last one. So a little bit lower, but it's still like a $16 margin. You're spending 16 bucks to get it, obviously. Let's check it out. So it's got nine reviews. 
It's got the Amazon's Choice Badge, and it's $32.99 with Prime. All great signs. Now, it's 260 in Tools and Home Improvement, so that is obviously probably not selling very well, which makes weird because it's got the Amazon's Choice Badge. But let's check the numbers just to be sure. Yeah, it's, sell it's selling less than five a month, so this is a bad product. I would not go ahead and grab this. But I just wanted to run you through a bunch of them um, today. I think that this is really valuable for a lot of the people trying to learn the online arbitrage the way that I teach it with the coupon websites. Now, I do not just do coupon arbitrage. I also order off like bulk deal sites, and we're going to get into that maybe later this week, as you'll see. Um, I also do a, a number of other things. I do liquidation pallets. But about 90 to 95% of what I do is the coupon arbitrage, and I do it every single day. So I'm here to tell you that even though the people out there, you know, that might be saying there's not good products on Vipon, obviously the, the people that say there's not good products on Vipon and Snagshot are because these are two uh, of the, the, the sites that I used to recommend in my retail arbitrage pro course, which has been around for like two years. So they're kind of saturated a little bit more now. But you can still find great products if you're willing to put the work in. And I honestly might have been able to go through and grab these in like five to ten minutes. And I might have just made like 100 to 150 bucks if I sell all these, you know, within the next week or two when I bought them. So uh, it's a great, great opportunity to make money. Vipon, Snagshout, uh, you know, I'll throw, uh, hopefully the next video that I put out will be a Snagshout tutorial. So come back and check that out if you're interested. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.